what is economic system economic system is the way an economy is organized and managed including the allocation of resources in effective way allocation means utilization of resources in different segments or areas for instance a doctor wants to spend its saving in a way that increases its income so either it spends its money to build its clinic or get enrollment for any medical diploma to increase its expertise here the effective way is to use the resources which give the maximum possible return or benefit in our example a doctor will not spend its savings on having a burger making machine when it comes to earn more income economic system is divided into three segments planned economy market economy and mixed economy planned economy it works as per government allocation and management of resources communist political system is economic system in which the resources are considered government ownership government controls all the resources and use it where it is required to better meet social welfare for instance china cuba laos and vietnam are planned economies market economy here the market works on the market forces of demand and supply this combination allocates resources with minimal government intervention For instance a businessman wants to have those products on their shop which have demand in the market otherwise no one wants to have products in the shop which has no demand here government has no role in the market everyone has this freedom to choose the business whatever it likes mixed economy it is the mixture of both market and planned economic system some resources are owned and controlled by the government Most of the countries today are mixed economies like UK, Canada, Germany and USA etc. There are three economic questions to be addressed in all three economic systems which are what production should take place how should production take place for whom should production take place planned economic system it is considered as the socialist or command system China and former Soviet Union were the best examples of such a system. Its major features are government takes the production's decisions. Government controls and possesses the resources on behalf of public. Production schemes are made for long-term basis such as 5-year plan or more. Wage differentials are minimal or you can say that almost equal salaries are paid to same skilled people. International trade has limited influence over the economic decisions. Advantages of planned system: achieving high economies of scale. What is economies of scale? More you produce, more will be the cost advantage. Hmm, sound confusing. So, more you produce, less will be the per unit cost. Like, if a shop bakes ten cakes at a time, its cost of production will be lower. then baking a single cake at a time for 10 different times as government owns the resources so it provides things on a very large scale at a time this system also prevents wastages of resources because government deems to produce that goods which is actually required by the public for instance some researchers think that marketing is a wasteful activity of the businesses people will buy a product which is actually required by them so indirectly customers have to pay for the marketing expenses in the shape of high price better allocation of resources for instance Luxurious items are normally required by rich people of the society as rich people consist of limited portion of the class so government does not take interest to produce goods which is actually required by a very limited class of the society so the resources are utilized for meeting the requirements of collective society rather than some limited class so it is called the better allocation of resources to meet maximum social welfare and needs social equality and protection social equality and protection are also the major advantages of this system government is responsible to create equality in the society by fulfilling basic needs of the people and also provide shelter and protection to its citizens these advantages of planned system lack of economic freedom as the government controls all production decisions people do not have economic freedom to choose 
from different goods and services. They also lack career choices as the government allocates jobs based upon production plans for the economy. Lack of incentive. As the government controls all resources, jobs, production and services, there is no incentive for the people who want to innovate in existing products and services. Lack of competition among businesses also prevent people to innovate things. For instance, Apple innovates its product lines just to compete with other competitors. If all resources are controlled by the government, then no one will bother to innovate things. Market system it is also called free market system or capitalist economy. In this system, private sector decides on the fundamental issues like what, how and for whom to produce goods or services. Its features are no government interference. Resources are allocated on the basis of market price or demand and supply rule. Financial benefits or profits will guide the allocation of resources on profitable products. For instance, private sector will produce goods that have high demand and profit margin. Advantages of market system Competition helps to ensure that private companies pay attention to what customers actually want or need. This increases innovation and thereby increases the efficiency of resources. Freedom of choice Individuals can choose which products and services to produce and which career to pursue without being restricted by government given that it is legal. For instance, you can do a job or start a business, whatever you want, but within the set regulations. However, this cannot be done in case of planned economy where decisions are made by the government. Disadvantages of market system Environmental issue Excessive and free utilization of resources to get high profits lead to pollution, climate change and resource depletion. Currently, the major global issue is the climate change, which is the result of excessive utilization of resources by keeping the business profit priority. Income inequality In a market system, the rich people have far more choice and economic freedom than that of poor people. As the government has no intervention, Businesses control the resources and try to make profit as much as possible. This also makes them to exploit the labor and pay them as low as possible. This leads to income inequality. Wasteful competition. Business competition sometimes pressurizes the businesses to compete against each other to get high sales volume. In such competition, they often produce products which are not actually required by the people or sometimes they convince the customers to purchase more than they actually want. Mixed economy Here, the degree of public and private sector involvement in economic activity is determined by the government. Essential services are produced by the public sector such as education, healthcare and postal services. The government exists to redistribute income by providing unemployment benefits and state pensions and much more. In the private sector, profit acts as the motive for firms to produce the goods and services demanded by the customers. Disadvantages of mixed economy For example, consumers pay higher prices due to the profit motive of private sector businesses because private sector has the freedom to set their prices on their own. However, public sector activities must also be funded by taxes and other government fees and charges which are taken from the people. This is all about chapter 2. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below about this lecture. For more help and understanding, try my paid services. Meet you in next video. Bye-bye.